Welcome, uh, very warm welcome indeed. Great to have you with me. Shall I put them on? Yeah, let's put them on for a few minutes eh? and then I'll come into action. I've got a 33 to 1 double to give you three a charge. One also running at Worcester and the other one runs at Salisbury. I'm going to back them both each way and I'm going to marry them up in a nice big each way double. And that's what these bets are going to be on here in a moment. Free of charge, FOC, free of charge. I think they've both got very, very strong cast iron chances of being in the frame. You never know. But they do look very, very, very sweet indeed. And I'm going to be on them big time each way and an each way double. Either one wins, you show a profit. You get the pair in the frame, you show a profit. And if they both come up, job done. You've got yourself a double carpet, 33 to 1 pick off. Uh, that's for sure. Talking to 33 to 1 chances. I hit a 35 to 1 double on Sunday on my Crackerjack line. Crackerjack, repeat it, Crackerjack. Well, that was every Friday, wasn't it? Do you remember that? In the olden days, Leslie Crowther, bless him. Peter Glaze, Peter Glaze. What an amazing comedian. Listen, so 33 to 1 double coming up in just a moment on this line. 17 to 2 winner. I nailed that on Sunday. Big winner there. Uh, that was job done. Nice winner there for you. 7 to 1 yesterday on a lovely winner, Eternal Sunshine. The Turbinator, of course, was on Sunday. This is all at the top of my head, and I've got that much in there. It's uh, taking it all out, siphoning it out. And uh, today, not quite, six in a big field of amateur riders, was back from eight to one into 11 to two. The money was on, but it wasn't probably the best ride in the world, but they are amateurs, and that's why they're amateurs. And, uh, well, we left it behind. But, but, B-U-T, after two winners, Saturday, Sunday, I beg your pardon, and Monday, I'm gonna give you two bets in one day. Two bets in one day. I give you two bets in one day on Sunday, one won at 17 to 2, the other one was each way at 11 to 2. These are about a handful, 5 to 1 each, and I like them a lot. And that's why they're coming on here free of charge, FOC to you. Because I like you a lot, the majority of it anyway. I like you a lot because you're decent folk and you're trying to just make a few bob, and that's what it's all about. So I'm going to give you two free bets to the, tomorrow, tonight. We're frying tonight. I'm going to give you two free bets. So if you've got your pens and papers, I will do that for you in just one second. My Super Syndicate Club opened today to uh, temporary members who are coming in to trial it. The Super Syndicate Club bet has not run yet. It runs tonight. It's about 11 or 12 to 1. It runs tonight. But I'm not here to talk about the Super Syndicate Club tonight. We'll talk about that another night, maybe tomorrow. Who knows? I'll talk about that when I want to. But what I'm here to tell you, my Irish horses are going in from all angles. Gregorina was a massive 12 to 1 winner. My only Irish crackerjack bet of the day yesterday. And uh, by golly, did it win. Last to first, swept round the corner, job done, give me the money. Simple as that. And I had a lot of people play the crackerjack line. A lot of people, record calls are coming in. Record calls are coming in. I've got my own regulars, and now we're moving into the big pot on the YouTube and a big funnel of people back Gregorina along with three others in a lucky 15 or on their own but if they had them in a lucky 15 you get double the money 24 to 1 or if you're back to them in a lucky 15 you sometimes get treble your money bet Fred used to pay treble Hills are paying treble the money 36 to 1 winner but even if you backed it on its own it was a 12 to 1 pick off and boy oh boy boy oh boy a lot of people cleaned up big time but that wasn't it they also had the double with Eternal Sunshine. So they had the big bet on the Crackerjack bet, which was Gregorina at 12 to 1, and also 7 to 1 winner, free, free, free on Eternal Sunshine, which all adds up to around about, around about 100 to 1 double once again. And that followed up from a 4,000 to 1 accumulator on Sunday for my private clients and a 35 to 1 double, 35 to 1 double, for my Crackerjack clients who put them in also with a combo bet from the free bet on here, which won as well, the, the Turpinator at 17 to 2, and my Syndicate bet, which won at 10 to 1, Malagin. Hence, 10s, 10s, 17 to 2, and a 5 to 2 maximum. Thousands to 1. Cleaned up, cleaned up, cleaned up on Sunday. And we did it again last night with a big Irish bet. My Irish bets are... I'm going to take these off now because it's getting a bit dusky out here and it's really hot and humid. Well, Bolting Gold Glass, I gave you 11 to 1 as a free bet, was an Irish winner. Bear Profit, I gave that at 11 to 2 to my private clients. 
Desert Cave, five to one, was another big Irish winner. But all those three there, all those three, and I've got them in front of me, all those three are not as strong as the bet I've got tomorrow at Nice. And it is a crackerjack banker. And it's 13 to 2. 13 to 2. And a lot of people from this channel played the crackerjack for the first time yesterday and won with that 12 to 1 who swept through, swept through, like a hot knife through butter to clean up once again for my Irish people. We are the best in the business. My Irish horses are unreal. They win and win and win. And when they don't win, they're usually placed at big prices. I've given you stacks of them on here free of charge. Big winners, big places. This one's not free of charge. It is a crackerjack bet. It's £10. If you want it, you know what you have to do. It's a crackerjack bet. So many people played it when they got the 12 to 1 poke yesterday. I've not released one for you today on here because I've been saving this for you. And this runs tomorrow at Nice. Nice. Or Nice. Nice. N -A, a S. And we're there to clean the bookies out with an absolute Yeru shot. If you want it, it's a tenner. It's as simple as that. You're playing with the bookies' money. You're back to 12 to 1 winning yesterday. If you took advantage and played, played the Cracker Jack bets, which are absolutely triple strong and mopping up big time, winner after winner. 21 to 1 double last th Tuesday and a massive each way double as well in the week. And so many other weeks winners. But you've got to remember on Sunday it was a 4,000 to 1 pickoff, including a 35 to 1 double on the Cracker Jack. And yesterday won at 12 to 1. And a lot of people on you here played it. So I'm going to give you a chance to play it again, Sam. Play it again, Sam. If you want it, it's £10 to the bank below, right? And then email Peter's Racing Tips at gmail.com. You will need to write Wednesday Irish Cracker Jack. Wednesday Irish Cracker Jack. But I tell you what to write on there. Peter Wednesday. That'll do. Peter Wednesday. All right, I'll know who you are then. Put Peter Wednesday. We'll marry your payment up to your email and then we'll send you the bet back. Well, directly. Not long at all. Be soon, as Hilda Baker would say. Be soon. Do you remember Hilda Baker? Beautiful. Be soon. Have you been, Walter? Have you been? Well, have you been? Because we're going in tomorrow. I'm just looking at the prices here now. I'm, I'm looking at this and we are going to have some fun here. It's going to be a busy night. It's going to be a busy day tomorrow. There's a lot of people coming on board. And why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? 14 to 1 and 10 to 1 winners on my private club. Tonight's syndicate bet has not run yet. But I'm not here to talk about that. I'm just telling you. If you think I'm not mentioning it because it's lost, it's not. It's not that. It's not that. The horse what lost was the free bet on here, but previously two back to back winners at 17 to 2 and 17 to 1. I don't need to tell you about that because my calls are through the roof and you know that. So you know what I'm talking about, and I'm going to give you one opportunity before I give you these two bets. If you want this big bet at Nace, it's a 13 to 2 beauty, and I'm going to be on it, I can tell you that. Well, you know that as well. I back everything what's on here, and I back everything what's not on here to my private clients. And when they win, I win. Simple as that. And when I win, they win. So we're going into battle together. So if you want it, it's a tenner, no messing, no frills, no fuss. Get on board and write Peter Irish and you, you'll be up and running ready. Or Peter Wednesday Irish and uh, John Dom. Just mention Peter when you're writing and uh, we'll know who you mean, won't we? We will know who you mean. Exactly. Seriously, if you want to come on board, it's a great pleasure. 12 to 1 winning yesterday. Triple the odds paid 36 to 1. That's not so bad, is it? And uh, here we go. I can't get on in the betting shops no more. They won't let me bet in the betting shops. They will not let me bet. They won't let me do it. So uh, the triple the odds for me don't exist because I can't get the cash on. But it does with people who put me a few bob on and uh, they get paid for the privilege of doing that. And uh, they also get some very special bets as well. But in the meantime, if you want it, the Nay special Wednesday, it's a cock and end. It's 10, T-E-N. And you will get it. You shall pass, as they say. Friend or foe. Foe, he says, you shall pass foe. That was a Tommy Cooper one. He said, friend or foe? He said, foe. He said, pass foe. <laughs> it doesn't sound as funny as when he did it, that's for sure. Love Tommy Cooper, he was great, wasn't he? Right, anyway, enough said off. Let's have a little bit of uh, banter. Why not? Banter, banter, banter. But let's talk business now. Uh, I'm going to take you to this one at Salisbury, which I'm all over like a rash. And I really like this horse an awful lot. But I'm going to give it your free of charge because I'm that way inclined. I'm not going to, I'm not going to put it anywhere else but on here because I want to give you a winner. We had big winners in the last two days prior today when I gave you a big an eight towards level two and didn't win. Let's get you back on track. Let's get you back on track free of charge. 
Let's do that. Number four, Ancient Times, trained by Harry Eustace and written by Hayley Turner. Hayley Turner! Absolutely amazing girl, eh? Been around forever, isn't she? Amazing, I think she's just still only about 23, isn't it? She seems to have been around since Christendom. But she's still riding well, and she's still riding winners, and uh, you can't knock it, can you? You can't knock a veteran, 17 winners this year. She's rode 189 winners, Hayley Turner, in the last uh, six years. There ain't many people doing that, is there? People knock Hayley Turner. It's unbelievable. Nearly 200 winners in six years. Fair play to the girl. Oh, number four, Ancient Times has got an outstanding chance. No question about that. Turner's uh, rode it before. She rode it two or three outings or three or four outings ago uh, when it came 8th of 11th and 4th of 7th. 4th of 7th? 4th of 7th. And that was at Wolverhampton. Last time out, William Burick rode the horse at Lingfield. Uh, the message I've got for this horse is quite strong. It's well handicapped off a mark of 76. And the pace is going to be the run to suit it. It's sure to go close in my opinion. Uh, Hayley gets on well with the gelding. And it'll do for me. Number four, Ancient Times. No joking. Very strong indeed. Each way. It'll take some beating, that's for sure. In an eight horse race. The dead eight. Let's all oh, eight go to post. Dusty carpet. It'll take some beating. Come on. Come on. Dusty carpet. It'll take some... Never mind. There's one other joke that's a little bit too rude. I'm not going to tell you that. But, you know, I'm not going to do it. No, I'm not going to do it. Uh, but I'm going to tell you, dusty carpet, takes some beating. Right, the second bet and the final free bet. I'm going to give you two bets. And the final two of these two bets runs at Worcester. 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 Doesn't it rain a lot there and floods the track half the time? Doesn't it like the cricket ground? But no problems at the moment. At the moment, we say. Let's hope this weather comes and keeps keeps beating down and as it's really hot. It's too hot for me at times. I'm not really fussed on the hot weather. It's a bit, oh, I don't know, it's hot, hot. You get the glass in the window in front of you. It's really beating down on me. But uh, hey, it's funny. There's a horse in this race called Beat the Heat. It's not it's not the horse I'm giving you, but it's that's strange, isn't it? It's called Beat the Heat, but that's not the horse I'm tipping, right? I'm going to give you this horse now. 14 runners go to post in the 540 at Worcester. And I'm pretty keen on this one. Ollie Murphy trains it. It's ridden by Sean Bowen, who takes over from Lewis Saunders, who claims £10, and Lewis Stones, who's been claiming three. So for the first time, this horse has a real top jockey on it. And take my advice. I take my advice. That's what he said to me was, hey, will you take my advice? He gave me loads of advice and no, nothing ever won. Did you take my advice? He kept saying it. Nothing won. But he was a funny guy. Number two. Bread and butter. There we go. Bread and butter. No, bread and butter. Bread and butter. That's the one. Ollie Murphy trains it. It's written by Sean Bowen. And I say, last time out, the jockey couldn't hold it. He's a young £10 claimer, Lewis Saunders. And he just run away with him. But it's still ran all right. Fourth of nine. It was a good performance. And I think this horse is uh, re ready to run a huge race. Can't see it not being concerned in the finish. Looks well handicapped off a mark of 104. This horse was off 117 not too long ago. So it's dropped nearly a stone in the weights. Murphy's training really well at the moment. He's, he's doing all right. Eight winners from 48. But he had uh, 103 winners last year. So, Ollie Murphy, man for the occasion. Sean Bowen, we won't want no better than him on board, will we? Sean Bowen, 19 winners this year, 157 winners last year. And he takes over from apprentices. Take note, take action, take heed. Be on it. Number two, bread and butter. Bread and butter. Bottle of beer, bottle of beer, bottle of beer. No, that's it. Bread and butter. Right, you've got bread and butter, you've got ancient times. However, he says, however, if you want the biggest bet of the lot, the biggest bet of the lot is my Cracker Jack 13 to 2 nice shot. There's one clause. It does cost £10 for the privilege. For the privilege of getting information which netted an absolute bundle yesterday at 12 to 1, netted a bundle the day before at 35 to 1, and then plus the combination bets, and has been absolutely cream in the bookies big time. I can't wait. I can't wait to load this message and give you the opportunity to get on. We're going into battle tonight big time and we're going into battle tomorrow big time with a 33 to 1 double on this line. But combination bet, if you put that 13 to 2 with that, we're talking big bucks, aren't we? We're talking 200 to 1 trebles. Now we're talking. Put a 20 quid treble on or a 10 a treble or even a pound treble. We're in business. Bonsai, as they say. Bonsai. 
In the meantime, have a lovely evening, whatever you do. Take it easy. Remember, tomorrow comes quick and we all start all over again. We've got the big syndicate back to room tonight. It's a 12 to 1 folk. Boing. That'll be lovely, won't it? But whatever happens, whatever happens, I will be back. I shall return tomorrow. I shall return like Lazarus tomorrow to bring you more information free of charge on my line, petersracingtip.com. And just before I go, say another.